One of the things I always like to do when we do vlogs is like talk to somebody that's sitting at home on the couch, on the toilet, in the car. I'm sorry, I don't know how you like consuming content, but it's, it's probably a little weird. But wherever you are, sitting where you are, going, I don't like my life, I don't like my boss, I want to change my life, but it seems undoable, right? Because we all have these self-limiting beliefs, all of us at some level do. Where do you, where do you start? Where do you start? Like, it's such a confusing thing. Like, I don't, I don't know how you built the roof structure. I don't know where you bought the windows. Like there's so many questions for someone who's thinking about, you know, real estate. Where does the education begin? Yeah, absolutely. I think getting around the people are doing what you want to be doing. Uh, that, I know that was true for me. I read my first real estate book. I was 19, I was in the Marine Corps. It was called The Millionaire Real Estate Re uh, Mentor, From Rags to Riches, Building Wealth Through Real Estate. And he talked about making money while you sleep. It's like, well, shoot, I'm working 60 hours a week, making 1,200 bucks a month. I see what that looks like. Mm. Right? I like this other idea of making money while I sleep, so I pressed into it. It didn't happen overnight though, right? It, 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 I bought my first place when I was 21, two years later. I was able to get a mortgage and, and buy a place, and then the market crashed. A lot of times you gain experience or success from experience, like success comes from experience. Experience comes from decisions, primarily bad decisions. So you yeah. make bad decisions, it gives you experience, and then from that experience you make good decisions that leads you to a level of success. So I think it takes grit, I think it takes perseverance, and I think it takes really being around the right people. You are who you surround yourself with. So when you get with the right people at the right place at the right time, the right things pretty much always happen for you. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can start from making 1200 bucks a month as a Marine to when I got out of the Marine Corps, my first deal was over a decade ago, we had $2,500 um, that we had to put our deposit down. I didn't even have the cash. I had a boat that I bought when I got out of the Marine Corps. We got the deal under contract. It's like, okay, me and my partner had to come up with 2500 each. I sold my boat for 3500 put my 2500 in, um, and then the rest was history. Went on to, to do a lot of flips, start multiple companies, but really being passionate about something. And, and I think for me, it was when somebody gave me permission that it's okay to make money, right? It removes self-limiting beliefs. Mm -hmm. and, and that came from being around the right people. Yeah, and these are, I'm assuming the windows. I, I, don't, are. I don't have to be a real estate expert to spot that. Yeah, it could, could be a sliding door for a shorter person, but it's, uh, <laughs> it, 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 these are the windows. So we're in Del Cerro right now, and it's hot. It's really hot. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy. When you're 40, taking off a shirt looks a whole lot less sexy as a man. So we're gonna go check out this property right now. That, in fact, we showed it in one of our other vlogs, and it's an old 1970s house, Sequoia West Properties. And a partner of ours, Chris, we came together and we came up with this really cool design. I thought this would be a very cool property for you guys to check out as well. Because if you're interested in flipping or interested in design, there's a lot to learn. One of the things that we did with our stagers that I thought was really thoughtful was we took a mid-century look that again, it's not 1970s, but it's similar enough. And we added in yellow, we added in gold. This was actually a choice of John Purdy's, which I thought was really intelligent. All these little crisscross lights, it adds kind of an extra element. But with the kitchen, one of the things I found in flips and developments is you can always make it more modern and still keep to period. So we still did the quartz countertops, we still did the quartz backsplash, and to keep costs down, we did these nice floating shelves. Uh, it's actually a whole lot cheaper than doing upper cabinets, but floating shelves, I don't know if you guys watch HGTV, but people are going crazy for floating shelves. Let me take you upstairs. I wanna show you the master bath. That is something that wasn't even finished last time we were here doing a vlog. As you can see, it's flooded with light and that's facing straight west. So we knew when we took this project on for around 900,000, we could probably sell it between 1.5 and 1.6 million because that's what that view is actually worth. But this bathroom was really awkward. In fact, the bathroom was over, the, the toilet was over here, the sink was over here, a closet was over here, a shower was over here. This has been completely rejigged. 
You still have the dual sinks, which I think is great for a couple. I found that if you can knock the master bathroom out of the park and knock the kitchen out of the park, you're gonna have a good sale. And this is what's attracted all of our buyers. Not only did we fit one shower head and two shower heads, we have a third shower head with a bench seat with all the penny tile and this little thing, which to be honest, I put these in a lot of properties and I don't even know what you use it for. Maybe places that you can't reach. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for following us on our vlogs.